Hi, Kep Kepner, CPA here in Dallas. I'm going to tell you a story about one of my clients. This is a young man who bought a restaurant and he didn't have enough money to start with. So he was under the gun from day one, had huge payments to the seller of the business and basically used up all his cash. So to fund that, the first thing he did was not pay his sales tax. I can tell you this, the sales tax people move a lot faster than the IRS. They came in and were basically saying that they would shut him down if he didn't pay his sales tax. So I was able to negotiate a payment plan for him. Then they wanted a bond, which would have cost him thousands of dollars and I was able to negotiate that away so he could continue to operate. And he started paying his sales tax, so that was good. Unfortunately, he had a few repairs to do at the restaurant, and that took more of his cash. Turns out that he didn't pay some of his payroll taxes. So finally, most recently, the IRS has come around and said, okay, You've got some payroll taxes that you haven't paid. And so here's a case of somebody who was trying to get by by scrimping, by not having enough, enough money, and he never really established something unique about his restaurant. I can tell you that in Dallas, there are many great places to go for lunch and for breakfast. There, are, This is restaurant heaven here. If you're a consumer, if you're an owner, I'm not quite so sure. But this particular client of mine wasn't able to establish anything unique about his restaurant. People had to want to go there to get family cooking. And he was never able to concentrate on marketing because he was concentrating on paying bills that he needed to pay, including his tax bills. So. When you're starting a business, it's really important to concentrate along with taxes and along with having your place look good and producing a good product. You've got to concentrate on building your revenues. If he had had maybe as small as 5000 more a week in revenues, he would have made a great living in that restaurant. But he was so consumed by paying bills because he started out with not enough money and paying for the restaurant pretty much in full within the first year, then he basically didn't have enough working capital. And because he didn't have any cash, his financial picture didn't look so good. So he didn't have a chance to go to other bankers to get funding for longer term money. So it's really important when you start to buy a business that you have enough working capital. And if you do, then you can concentrate on all those things. You have to take care of certain things like the IRS and the state controller. There's no question about that. You've got to take care of certain suppliers that provide you with the product that you're going to sell. And you've got to develop some marketing that attracts people to come to you so you can sell your product at a profitable price. All of these things he wasn't able to do. When I called his number today, it didn't answer. Said the phone was dead. I think we know what happened to him. So if you need help starting your business off right, give us a call. Thank you.